$1,000. Helpful for life. Dishwashing. Let's take a look at some common reactions that people have when they are tasked with it. Eh, the roommate will get it later. Dang it, Bobby. How many times are you going to leave me all these dishes? Well, I got to do it anyways. Might as well make it entertaining. <laughs> I hate washing dishes more than I hate myself. Bueno, oye, hey, ¿qué pasa? Oh, you take care of him? Okay, okay. I know you don't like to do it, but it's a necessary evil, you know what I mean? Ah, right, bye. Although I do not find joy in it, dishwashing is a necessary evil. So, I do it without letting it affect my mood. There's nothing I love more than washing dishes. Besides labeling my label makers, of course. Okay, so some of those may have been more relatable than others, but I think we can all agree that most people don't enjoy cleaning dishes. It's just one of those things that have to get done. Now, as you may have noticed by one of the examples, some people like to use dishwashing as a meditative practice. Um, they specifically pay attention to every action they're performing, every stroke of the brush, every rinse of the water, and they find it soothing and relaxing. Even if you don't decide to go that far, we're going to give you some tips today to make dishwashing a little more achievable, hopefully a little less dreadful, and we're also going to tell you how to do it correctly. So let's dive in. First, how to make dishwashing easier. Wash as you go. Fortunately for us, when you're cooking, you're not completely active the whole time. So use some of that downtime to clean some dishes. I can tell you from personal experience, it's much more satisfying to finish preparing a meal when you have some or all of the dishes already clean. Rinse your dishes right after you use them. This is especially important for certain types of food. Eggs, melted cheese, any kind of dairy, oatmeal for example. It's so much easier to clean these if you rinse it off when the food is fresh instead of letting it harden and get stuck on there. And don't worry, there's a certain someone in this house that has made me test this theory many times. Turn on the spray head if you have one and make sure to use hot water. Those two tips will make it a lot easier to get those things clean. If something's particularly stuck on there, don't be afraid to give it a quick scrape with the back of a scrub brush or even a quick scrub. Now, I know a lot of people have said to me, why don't you just wash all those dishes? You're already halfway there. You might as well finish it. Well, to those people, I just look slowly, deep into their souls, and I say, would you like to do it? Okay, so if it's just one or two dishes, then it may make sense to completely wash them right then. However, if you don't want to do all the dishes and you got a pile, that, then those few seconds you take to rinse them now will save you minutes later. Don't let it pile up. Just like a lot of things in life, it's much harder and more daunting to do it when it becomes a big pile than it is to knock it out when it's still kind of small. Oh, and please don't leave dishes in the sink. I can't say how annoying it is when I go to wash my hands or clean a dish and then dirty, greasy, grimy water splashes up on me because someone left the bowl in the freaking sink. Or when I go to clean something and I can't maneuver because there's a giant pot that's taking up the entire basin and I can't clean! Um, um. If you do need to let some stuff pile up, use the side, use the counter whenever possible. Wash in smaller sessions, especially if you do end up with that giant pile. Don't feel like you have to do it all at once. Wash some dishes, maybe fill up your drying rack or something, and then go away for a little while. 
it's much easier to knock it out in smaller 15 minute chunks than it is to spend an hour or two hours slaving away. Entertain yourself while you do it. TV shows, movie, YouTube, podcasts, your partner strip teasing for you, drugs, alcohol, whatever floats your boat. Figure out some way to make it a little less painful and a little more entertaining. Maybe you could also do a voice memo on your budding novel or call someone who you haven't talked to in a while. Or maybe try counting to a thousand using only prime numbers. Okay, that last one probably only applies for a handful of you. Utilize the freaking dishwasher. I mean, come on, it was such a life-changing invention. If you don't have one, which sucks, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you do have one, use it. I mean, it's in the freaking name, dish washing machine. It's a machine that washes your dishes for you. Why wouldn't you use it? Hashtag team robot. Don't let clean and dry dishes sit in the dishwasher or the drying rack for long. This is another one that I've learned many, many times over and over again on a personal level. It's hard enough to get the motivation to clean dishes, but it's even harder when you have to first put away the other dishes before you even get started on cleaning the dishes. Man, my mental fortitude and determination hurt just thinking about it. Share the load. If you live with roommates, make a written agreement. No, I'm not joking. That one small, albeit a little awkward thing can actually drastically improve your life. By sitting down together and coming to terms about what is the expectation and having it written down, nobody has any excuses. And don't be afraid to put a little consequence behind it. If they don't meet or you don't meet the thing, then maybe you need to pay for a maid or buy dinner or give money or a high five. I don't know, whatever it is, you figure it out, but make a written agreement. If you have one or more significant others or family living with you, here's what you need to do. You need to beg, you need to plead, you need to bribe, or maybe you need to do sexual favors. Now, if it's sexual favors with your family, you should probably check out the TV series Game of Thrones. I think you will find something that you like about it. Treat yourself. Don't be afraid to reward yourself for doing some dishes. Now, what that reward is is gonna vary from person to person, but don't be afraid to give yourself a little bit of a dopamine hit after working hard on those dishes. Well, that wraps up the general tips. Hopefully you found at least some of them helpful. Let's dive into some dishwashing specifics. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one.